All right, Peter, uh, a start to the road trip that saw you pick up a point in Grand Rapids. The win streak is over, but the point streak continues. What do you see from your team? Yeah, that, uh, that point streak is huge. Anytime you can uh, get a point, even when it's a tough loss like we had last night, uh, that's huge moving forward. Uh, keeps the ball rolling here. And, uh, we went into a tough building last night on the road and then managed to uh, take one from them. So uh, it's not exactly what we wanted, but uh, we'll take it and uh, turn the page over here to Rockford. What do you learn from yourself as a team when you go from uh, success on home ice to being able to carry it over to be very competitive in a tough spot on the road? Yep, the road's uh, a different beast, definitely. Um, it's a different game. You have to, different adversity uh, with the crowd, momentum, trying to weather a storm early when, when teams try to come out hard in, in their own rink. Um, and I thought we did a good job of handling that last night in Grand Rapids. Like I said, tough building to play in, uh, tough atmosphere, and, and uh, we were able to handle that well. So we just got to build on that uh, for the next two here. Shorthanded seven times in the game. That hasn't been the nature of the team of late. Uh, over the streak, you've been pretty disciplined as a group. Did you see anything different in last night's game? Uh, yeah, we went to the box a few too many times. Uh, that happens sometimes. Uh, wasn't a lack of effort is sometimes go for a stick lift and, and you get someone high. And uh, that was kind of the case last night. And our uh, penalty kill was great. Obviously, that starts with comms and, and moves on out. But uh, the fact that we were able to hold a team like that to, uh, to no power play goals on seven attempts is uh, uh, something to build upon. Well, help me out here. Uh, what does it take to kill uh, seven power plays off in a building like that against players like that? What was the key for the penalty kill? Yeah, I thought we had a good plan going in, uh, and we executed it. Uh, it takes a few uh, pucks, to the, pucks to the legs and pucks to the arms to do that, but uh, we were able to block shots, we were able to make the clears when we had to, and uh, we were able to hold on uh, just long enough and uh, to keep them out. Pascal Vincent said earlier this week that this is a team now. He can see a difference in this group. The things have really come together, probably since the return from the holiday break. What's the biggest thing you notice about why the teams come together? Yeah, it takes a while to, to learn systems, and we had a lot of new faces, and, um, and, and it takes a while for everybody to buy in. Um, you could draw the X's and O's on the board, but uh, it really takes the, the players to, to buy in and, and really take that to heart and, and take pride in uh, executing that every night. And uh, We've started to do that here, and the results have followed, and that's just something that uh, we can look at and, and, uh, and see that, that when we play the right way, uh, we're able to beat any team in this league. Cam Schilling said earlier this week he felt it was really important for this team to maintain a balance in terms of pushing themselves but not getting tight. Is that easier said than done? Yeah, there's always, uh, I guess, that balance that you have to find. And uh, we have the older guys that need to push it. And uh, we have, uh, I guess, the leadership group that, that needs to keep everyone on uh, the, the keel that we need, whether that be uh, keeping us uh, humble when we win or, or get us up when we lose. But uh, I mean, Shill's done a great job of, of helping us do that, and uh, we expect the same moving forward. It would be easy to look at the game against Milwaukee on Saturday as a critical game, given they're higher up the standings, but uh, you don't get anywhere unless you keep piling up the points. So how do you make sure you don't look past Rockford? Yeah, you just got to take it, uh, the old cliche, one day at a time. But th but that's really all we have, because we're playing every second night here. So you really do have to turn the page fast. and. Um, we go through so much scouting and, and so much uh, pre-scouting of teams that uh, the really only thing you can do is focus on the team you're playing next. And uh, like I said, we're playing every second night here. So uh, when you could do that and, and quickly turn the page on, on the last night, uh, you're able to build momentum moving forward and, and be successful in your next game. Last thing I wanted to ask you was just to do with the suspension. You missed two games, uh, the games against San Antonio as a result of a suspension. Uh, how difficult is it to miss games at this time when the team's playing so well? Yeah, you never want to be uh, out of the lineup. And uh, I did something out there you obviously can't do and uh, had to pay the price for it. Uh, the guys played great while I was out and uh, just happy to be back and, and glad that's over with and uh, try not to make that mistake again.